Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you the Kami integration with Schoology. Now, this does require the paid version of Kami, as well as users have to have, both teachers and students, have to have the Kami extension installed on their Chrome browser. Now, this is really similar to the Google integration within Schoology, if you're familiar with it, so you may see some connections. Throughout this video, you're going to see I kind of work between two screens, this one being the teacher viewpoint, uh, and this one being the student's viewpoint. Now, they both look really similar, so I'm going to do my best to put at the bottom of the screen which view we are looking at. Uh, so let's start by looking at the student viewpoint. Uh, now, when I look at this, uh, I have my ca sample Kami assignment, and I can click on that just like I would normally. And once that loads, you'll notice there's a PDF file attached, and a little button comes up that says, Open Assignment with Kami. Awesome. As a student, again, I'm going to click on that. It's going to open a new tab and push that file out to Kami. Uh, it may require you to sign in with your Google account the first time, but I've already done that, so here I am. We'll let it finish loading. Uh, and basically, I now can annotate this file with the full uh, function of Kami, right? So I can pull up my drawing tool, and I'm on a touchscreen Chromebook, so that lets me, uh, you know, annotate all over it and draw things, and that's great. Do the work that I want to do. When I'm all done as the student, you'll notice in the top right-hand corner, there's a little button that says Turn In. I'm going to click on that button and it will ask me if I want to turn it in. I'm gonna say yes. This drives this file back to Schoology for me as the student, and all I have to do is wait a second and say submit when the box comes up. So we'll just give that a second to load. There we go, and I can now submit, and just like you would expect, I can see as the student on the right-hand side, it says I submitted it. I can resubmit it if I want. Life is good. Great, let's take a look at it from the teacher side. Now, on the teacher side, just like before, I can click into the assignment, and I can see that something was submitted. I can click on that, and I'm able to annotate this using Schoology's native tools. So I can uh, select text, I can highlight text, right? If I select that and highlight text, it highlights it, puts a note that I did something. I can also strike through text if that's what I wanted to do. I can add notes, right? Just like you saw before with other things. Uh, the one that I really like here is that you can draw. So I can also annotate back to the student, grade it, and life is good and this can be done either through the web or through Schoology's app. So awesome, that's kind of how the integration works. Now the big question is, how do I make one of these assignments? Well, like we said, if you're familiar with the Google uh, assignments in Schoology, really similar workflow. Uh, what I'll do is say add material and I want to start by clicking add an assignment. From there, I'm going to put in all of the necessary requirements, the things that have stars, so a name, we'll just call it uh, assignment to start with. Assignment, great. Uh, I do have to put a category, so I'm going to select the category that fits. Um, with Google Drive assignment, you click this button. Well, with Kami's, you're going to select this button where it's going to, again, direct you into your Google Drive account, and you can select any file from there, whether it's a PDF file, a doc file, a slide file, whatever the case may be. You will notice though, this was the file that I selected. It started off as a Google Doc, and if you remember, it does convert it to a PDF. That just makes it easier for Kami to work with. So, okay, maybe I take uh, this file, I select it, and just like before, we're gonna have uh, a little note that says this file, uh, made a copy for every, there we go, file, made a copy of your file for each student. Whew, there we go. At the bottom, click Create, and I'm ready to go. We'll see right down here is my assignment. I open it up. Again, it converted to a PDF. Here's my open assignment with Kami, and any student submissions would be over on this side. So there you go. That's how the Kami integration works within Schoology. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please feel free to drop me an email at rbray at btboces.org, and as always, Thank you for watching.